think it scared me. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute, Salad Man. Hold your horses there. Before we jump into the Doki Doki once again, guys, today's video is actually sponsored by Amino. Wow, wow, wow. Amino is this great app that allows you guys to really join any kind of community that you would like to join. Is there something that you really like? Oh, I wonder. Is it Doki Doki? That's what I thought. Amino actually has a fantastic Doki Doki Literature Club community. I mean, there's tons of communities, but, you know, specifically, we're going to talk about Doki Doki Amino, all right? It's an awesome place where you guys can share uh, not only your theories, but awesome, awesome fan arts. Maybe you just want to debate who is the best waifu of Doki Doki Literature Club. Not <laughs> ski, but, I mean, I'm sorry. I got this weird cough I'm excuse me also there's a new feature which is really freaking awesome you guys are gonna love this and it's called avatar chat now you guys probably are familiar with this if you have an iPhone I do not have an iPhone so to, to me this is really mind-blowing and I find it really really funny in a good way to get to avatar chat you just click on your profile right here and BAM it's right there look at it click it and you can choose between all of these custom made avatars as you can see my glasses on it doesn't really work well with glasses It does tell you that so I got to take these babies off. Hi <laughs> You ever wanted to look like a very attractive man? I know I have and the coolest part about this feature is you can actually create your own avatar allow me to demonstrate So you just go to add right here and as you can see by this woman you can just open up a picture So just snap a picture open up from library and voila just like this lady you can have it luckily I've already done it so allow me to show you this <laughs> This thing cracks me up. Hi guys. What's how's it going? Oh my god What am I doing? <laughs> if you don't like getting ready and you're just lazy you can just simply hey record a message Hey guys VG Mike here. Uh, there's there's nothing different about me. This is totally me. Uh, do I have a hairy chest? It kind of looks like I have a hairy chest. <laughs> Once you finish recording on Avatar Chat, you can actually share it on Twitter, pretty much any social media. You can even just save it to your phone and reuse it anytime you want to. I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a lot of fun uh, messing with like family members and friends. <laughs> what I like about Amino is that the communities are just awesome and friendly. Like I think friendliness is a big thing uh, when it comes to Amino. You know, you don't get a lot of haters and stuff on there. And you know, generally, if you're gonna join a community, everyone is going to be you know sharing the same ideas with you, and uh, it's just a really awesome place to kind of just kick back and really get along with, you know, people uh, and talk about things you actually enjoy. So I encourage you guys to try that avatar chat. That crap is so funny. And don't forget guys, if you like what you see here and would like to download Amino, uh, click the link that's going to be at the top of the description. You can join. My username is also in the description if you want to follow me on there. Thank you Amino for sponsoring this video and let's go on to the Doki Doki Literature Club video. Doki Doki! There it is! We all know and love it! Your best girl! Natsuki is not here, so why did I say that? Sorry. Oh, I shouldn't say that in front of Monica. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. I totally realized that was completely off, I know. Welcome, Salad Fam, to another episode of Monica After Story. Now, you guys gave me some tips and stuff like that. And plus, there's a bajillion questions we've yet to ask her. A lot of you guys have been asking me, blowing up my comment section. Make more! Please, Michael, make some more. So here I am. And plus, hey, I, it's always lovely, Monica, by the way. I didn't mean to ignore you. Hi. Oh, you're here. I was just daydreaming and singing a bit. I don't think it's hard to figure out what I was daydreaming about. <laughs> well, I mean, is that a dirty joke? You're trying to get me, you're trying to get me demonetized right now. Please. Wait until the camp, wait until we stop recording. Guess what, Yuri? I'm really mad. I'm, not, I'm still mad that she calls me Yuri because I don't want her to call me Yuri uh, since that was just an Easter egg thing. I don't know if there's a way to change her name or not. Anyway, I got a new game for you to try. Oh, wh what is this? You're probably bored with Chest and Pong already. So, I made Hangman. Oh, I wonder where this is going. Hopefully it's not in poor taste. It was always my favorite game to play with the club. But come to think of it, the game is actually quite morbid. You guess letters for a word to save someone's life. Get them all correct and a person doesn't hang. But guess them all wrong. They die before they didn't guess the right letters. Pretty dark, isn't it? But don't worry, Yuri, or me, <laughs> it's just a game after all. I assure you that no one will be hurt with this game. Hey, I've got something exciting to tell you. I finally added a piano uh, to the room for us to use. I really want to hear you play. It might seem overwhelming at first, but at least give it a try. After all, we all start somewhere. Wouldn't it be fun to play something together? Maybe we could even do a duet. Wow. We would both improve and have fun at the same time. Maybe I'm getting a bit carried away. Sorry. Uh, don't you mean... Sayori? 
Oh, I need to stop making that joke. Hi guys, you know my shirt says Biju on it? <laughs> I just want to see you enjoy the piano the same way I do. Okay, I don't know if I'll be as good, but I'll play some, okay? I can play the beginning of the Black Parade like no one's business. To feel the passion I have for it, it's a wonderful feeling. I hope this isn't too forceful, but I would love to see if you tried. For me, please? Okay, bust it out. Where's the piano? Give it to me right now, alright? Where is it? Honestly, I don't know where it's at. Alright, let's, let's play. Let's play some piano. You wanna play the piano? Now play for me! Oh, press Z to quit. Uh, oh, so it's... Oh, 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 okay, alright, then it goes to the U, and the, oh, the U, U and Y. Oh, you can press these buttons! That's actually pretty freaking cool! Okay, I see, I think I can try to find Doki Doki. I did it! I did it in Shoujo City! I can do it here! By the way, guys, I just recorded a new episode of Shoujo City. If you don't even know what that is, okay? It's an awesome game, okay? That is a lot- it's very similar to the Andre Simulator in a way, and I have a lot of fun with it. If you like that sort of thing, you might want to check it out, because we play some Doki Doki on the piano in there as well. Gatsu, roll the clip! Every day I imagine a future where I <laughs> Every day I imagine Oh! She knew! She knew! She knew! <laughs> oh my god! I'm actually genuinely freaked out that she knew that I was playing it. So that's an easter egg, okay? Thank, thank god. god. Guys, aren't you so glad right now that you're subscribed to such an amazing, amazing pianist, okay? Okay, I'm get, I'll get there. Um, she's like, every day, uh, every day. She's like, stop! <laughs> she's looking at her, do you see the sweat? <laughs> so that's how you, so, so that's how you know if you're... How about that song? You like that song? <laughs> so you know exactly when you mess up. I'm gonna figure this out, guys. I'm the Doki Master. I've been sitting here for a while. I don't know why, but this is a personal challenge to me. I could totally do this. She, she sweats. Like, am I missing a key? I don't know. This is what I got so far. <laughs> if that's not it, I don't know what is. I mean, listen. Listen to it. Let's give a good listen. Let's do a little music class here. Beat your music class. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, all right. Now, music. Now, now, my amazing performance. I mean, okay, is that it? That's it. I'm a, I'm a musical genius, clearly. But she she doesn't seem to like it, so I'm obviously doing something wrong. Like, do they want me to play like the like? I can't do it all. I can just do the little beat. That's it. That's it. That's all I can do for the Black Parade. I know it's probably not the right key, but I don't think they have it. I don't know if she'll say anything else, but you guys should, should definitely give it a try. Hi guys! I'm not mad at all, I swear. I really am, am really mad actually. God. So I know this is not gonna make sense to you all, but basically I just like recorded this entire video right now. And then I realized I was switched to a different scene on my recording software. Which totally was just my face to the entire thing, so I wasn't recording the gameplay. So, basically, a lot of the things that I'm going to show you guys is not going to be my genuine reaction. And for that, I, uh, I, I gratefully apologize. Uh, what I can do is, is, is show you guys and then cut, cut to my actual reaction, okay? So, I'm sorry. I'm so angry at myself. Let's continue the video, okay? This is what it showed. My sub count. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm I'm sure some of you guys would like to see that sometimes, but not right now. Allow me to recap what I already learned. But first, Monica wants to talk about wolves. 
Sure, Tweaker. Do you ever think about wolves? Specifically how wolves uh, were eventually domesticated into dogs. Like, don't you find it interesting how one of man's most fearsome enemies could turn into man's best friend? I mean, when it comes to insects and other creepy crawlies, lots of people are scared of them even if they've never come across that, uh, even if they've never come across one that could hurt them. Why do they think people are like that? Is it because we learn to be afraid of things that hurt us? Hundreds of thousands of years ago? For wolves, I don't think that's the reason at all. They were first domesticated long ago when the only way people could gather food at the time were through foraging or hunting. Maybe when we shared our lifestyle with the wolves, a bond was formed. They found that people gave them a warm home and food when we found that they were ideal for hunting. Not to mention that we kept each other's company and protected one another. Wolves eventually realized that their dependence on humans would improve their survivability and we've been stuck with them ever since. Just like how we rely on each other's company, BG Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, I changed my name to be Jamaic from- I figured it out. I totally figured it out. I was like shouting people out and everything. I was so freaking mad. So it's gonna be less funny, but let's make the best out of this. I can't help but be reminded of how you saved my life being here with me. I really do depend on you, be Jamaic. You're my hero after all. Well, thank you so much. You're so sweet, Monica. I wish I liked you uh, like you liked me, but that's just not the case. Okay, so long story short. I asked you guys, uh, I was reading your comments and I was trying to figure out how to change my name. Obviously, I figured that out and the person who uh, showed me Henry Lee Mike you can change your name and repeat conversation miscellaneous. Can you change my name for me? Hope you got it the hango bits <laughs> Thank you, Henry, okay, and basically what I figured out okay, and I'll cut to my uh, actual reaction once I show you guys Oh my god. Oh my god. She wants to talk about pen names Alright, I'm sorry. I'm a little more angrier than usual, Monica. I don't mean to take it out on you. You know what's really cool? Pen names. Most writers usually use it for privacy to keep their identity a secret. They keep it hidden from everyone just so it won't affect their personal lives. Pen names also help writers create something totally different from their usual style of writing. It really gives the writer that protection of an uh, anonymity and gives them a lot of creative freedom. Is Monica a pseudonym for what you're using? Oh yeah, well, that's right, we're using Monica. You're using two different names after all. Monica and BG Mike. A well-known pen name is Lewis Carroll and he's mostly well known for Alice in Wonderland. His name is Charles Dog Dodson. Dog Dogs Dodson? And he was a mathematician, but he uh, loved literacy and uh, wordplay in particular. He received a lot of unwanted attention and love from his fans and even received outrageous rumors. He was somewhat of a one-hit wonder with his Alice books, but went downhill from there. Oh, I didn't know that. It's kind of funny though that if you use a pseudonym to hide yourself, people will always find a way to know who you really are. There's no need to, yeah, just like YouTubers, like people actually literally find their house and go there. It's not okay, by the way. Yeah, the more you know. Yeah, I honestly really, again, I love playing this mod because you, you learn things that you just didn't know. It's just like, Monica loves teaching you things that you just didn't know, but you're glad you know now. You already know that I'm in love with you after all. Aww. <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, what we need to do is actually go back. Never mind. So, we gotta talk, repeat conversation, miscellaneous, change my name, yes. So right now I believe we're BG Mike, so what we wanna do is change it to Sayori. This is an easter egg, and then it changes, and uh, yeah. Cut to the part where I got all creeped out, Gonsi, please. Alright, so we're gonna- or Sayori. Okay then. From now on, I'll call you Sayori. Okay, I- oh, that scared me so bad right now. I don't know why. I forgot that- that- that happened already. It changes the music. Ugh, it creeps me out. It really gives me bumps still. This game is that powerful. It still gives me goosebumps with the freaking jump scares. Oh, and so when you go to play a game, you can go stroll on down to the play game section and then go to play Hangman, right? I'll think of a word. Hey, and there she is. Here's my reaction to that. Oh, there's she. Look at her. Look at her in the back. I, I know it's so lame. I'm so sorry. I screwed up. Okay, it's kind of my fault, but I just. I'm just mad at OBS. Okay, so basically when you win, nothing happens, but when you lose, something does totally happen. So let's try to lose. Watch, I'm gonna get it perfectly. Oh, look, she's getting- <laughs> I, I didn't notice this before, but she gets, like, even more, like, scared? Like, her hands start moving. Oh! God. Okay, it scared me again, I don't even know why. <laughs> okay, here's my actual reaction to that. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how much I got in the video, but basically I went through the whole thing trying to play Hangman. It was fun. I, I'm just, I'm just still mad. <laughs> okay, let's get this freaking creepy music out of here. So actually when your name is Sayori, 
um, the only music that is available is Surprise, which is very, very messed up. And also, there's something that happens when you change your name to Monica, because I know probably a lot of you guys were asking, and I don't remember if we did this before, you change your name to Monica, really? That's the same as mine! Well, either it's really your name or you're playing a joke on me, but it's fine by me if that's what you want to call, want me to call you, but that's, like, literally it. And, uh, when we go- let's change the music, by the way, freaking screw this music, okay? Then play for me, Monica. <laughs> You talk to yourself freaking weirdo. So I also read some other comments as well. That sadly didn't make it. Weeaboo Sim says, I want a Natsuki after story. I do as well. Can we please someone out there get a Natsuki after story, okay? Well, I really hope Monica's not listening to this. She will not like that. I think one of my favorite things about playing this is that a lot of you guys respond to like what Monica says and we get to talk about it. Like the Shakespeare thing. If you guys missed last episode, you know, check it out. But Monica, Monica made, made a good point saying that that she finds Shakespeare actually boring, and she doesn't know why people like them so much. Uh, and she thinks that maybe people are just saying that they like it and they're pretending. And, uh... Well, Mangle says they do like, like Shakespeare, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, I thought it was kind of boring too, but that's just my opinion. Now, obviously, like, I know it's amazing and, and stuff, but I just, I don't know, I'm just not interested, I guess, is what, what, I, what I'm trying to say. And then Pia Vasquez says, tell Monica that you're gay. I really want to see what she says. I don't think that's an option, but that would be a really funny thing. The names in this game are pretty interesting. Are you curious about my name, Monica? Even though the names Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki are all Japanese, mine is Latin. Oh, yeah, I guess I never really thought of that. Though the common spelling is, uh, Monica. I suppose that makes it unique. I'm actually quite fond of it. Did you know that it means I advise in Latin? I did it. See, this is what I'm saying. This is why you guys gotta tune in, right? Because we learn so much, okay? School doesn't even teach us these things. A name fitting for club president, don't you think? After all, I did uh, spend most of the game telling you uh, who your poems might appeal to the most. It also means alone in ancient Greek. Oh God, that's... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it means that. That part doesn't matter so much now that you're here. Uh, Sayuri is a lovely name too. Actually, if that's true, then that's actually really crazy. Dan uh, Salvato freaking put a lot of thought into that. I always find it really interesting to know that uh, like the names really have a meanings too, but I hardly ever like think to look into them. But when I find out that kind of stuff about series or whatever, I, I think it's really interesting. To know that there's a lot of work putting into these characters. Sayuri is a lovely name too, but I think I like Monica better. I wonder why. <laughs> That's interesting. So another question that I asked and I never really got to have it on the video <laughs> was ask a question uh, miscellaneous um, 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 um. Oh, yeah, we asked have you ever heard of uh, Totono, okay, and uh, Why don't I allow the actual BG mic from the past to take that question, okay? Oh, oh, this is a good one. Have you heard of the game Totono? That's like okay this game this game actually, uh, apparently a lot of people are saying that it's very similar to Doki Doki and it's a Japanese, uh, so there's no localization of it. I've always wanted to play it, okay? But so, uh, this is pretty cool that we can ask her this. I, I tried my best to find an English translation of that game, but I couldn't anywhere. And here, we'll actually read the question and then I will give you my, a uh, past response. A lot of people on the internet are making comparisons between, between this game and that one. We have a lot of really important differences though. Like, so Sone killed the player in the game. Spr again, spoiler alert, okay? That's what I said before. I never would have done that, never. I'm the wise club president type, you know? Uh, Sone reminds me a lot more of Yuri, and she was like a childhood friend, uh, too. If she'd been a bit more proactive early on, she could have... Couldn't she have stopped the protagonist from chasing other girls? Well, I'd never let anyone get between us, Monica, no matter who it is. But, hey, but you're Monica and I'm Monica. This is getting confusing. If she's still chasing you, I'll delete her files, okay? God, I want to play that game so bad. We actually have other uh, visual novels. Right now, we're doing School Days. By the way, check it out if you haven't already. And we also have another visual novel. I believe it's called, um, Something the Rabbit Hole. Wonderful. Oh, it's called Wonderful Every Day Down the Rabbit Hole. Uh, and I heard, I, I read all the comments and they were saying it's freaking crazy, okay? It's like Doki Doki if Doki Doki was Arthur. You know Arthur plays on PBS, okay? They said it's freaking tripped out. Tripped out, messed up in every possible way. So, I don't know, if you guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that, because I would like to give that one a shot. Okay, yeah, also previously I did play some Hangman, so let's play a few games of Hangman, okay? Alright, I've got one. Natsuki would like this word the most. Hangman, I, 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 after playing this for a little bit, I realized I really suck at Hangman, but okay, Natsuki, right? Is that what she said, Natsuki? N. Oh, there is an N. Okay, S. No. O. U. I. That's what I said. U. R. Oh, ribbon! Ribbon. 
<laughs> Dig it! Wow, I'm amazing! Wow, you guessed the word correctly! Good job, Monica! Would you like to play again? Uh, sure. Hangman is fun, but yeah, I'm so so bad at it, okay? It gets hard- it gets even harder when uh, she goes to the Yuri words. Sayori would have liked this word the most. Oh crap, Sayori. Uh, is it H? No. <laughs> I think you guys know what I was going for. There's no O, there's no U, there's no Y, is there an I? Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know. Fine? Fine? F? F? Go, you fine! Sing. Okay. <laughs> Better luck next time! Yuri would like this word the most. Yeah, so obviously Yuri's the hardest difficulty. Oh god. I'm just gonna put random ones until I get it, okay? Vibrant, that's what I meant to say. I bet you would be- <laughs> Oh, Sayori would like this one. Are you kidding me, Sayori? Since when did your freaking vocabulary get so huge? You can fit the alphabet in this freaking word. Un- I was gonna say irrelevant. <laughs> Sayori is unrelevant. That's not it though, we already use L. So, I- T- D- Unrequited! Yay! I don't actually know what that means, but I, I know it's used for love a lot. Good job, Monica! Would you like to play again? No. Hangman is actually a pretty hard game. You need to have a good vocabulary to be able to guess different words. Oh, I already said that. Okay. Let's ask her, can you draw? I don't have a lot of experience with drawing, Monica. I'm just interested in literature, and I've been learning the piano in my spare time. If you like to create artwork, though, I'd love to see it. I'd be impressed by anything you show me, to be honest. If it's really good, I might even add it to the room. Are you saying that, like, I can somehow get a picture in there? <laughs> I'll just stuff it in my CD tray. Do you know about the book 1984? It was written by George Orwell. It's a popular book about mass surveillance and the oppression of free thought. It's about a terrifying dystopia where the past and the present are being changed to whatever the ruling party wants for the future. The language, for example, is manipulated into a tool for brainwashing called Newspeak. The government is creating it to control people's thoughts. They were reducing grammar and vocabulary to the bare basics of, uh, of it in order to fit the ideologies of their totalitarian regime, preventing people from committing thought crimes that oppose the ruling party. One character uh, caught my interest. A man called Syme, who worked on Newspeak for In Ingsog. He was an incredibly smart man who was enthusiastic with his work. Unfortunately, he was killed due to the fact that he knew what he was doing and was too smart for the party's liking. He was killed because he was aware he was aware, Monica. They plan to change all so uh, kinds of literature. Novels, books, poems, anything that could be used to oppose them. Poems will look like the ones you try to make. Oh, is that a shot to me? Just a string of nonsensical words with no feeling. I think I just got roasted. I definitely don't want uh, that to happen. I can't imagine a world where I can't think freely. Let alone a world where I can't express my love to you, Monica. This is weird coming from Monica. And this also, uh, really rich coming from Monica, who deletes things that she doesn't like. Alright guys, well, I think that's probably enough for now. Uh, there's still some questions that we can ask, and also, you know, uh, if there's anything I missed, again, leave it in the comment section. I love it when you guys help me out. Uh, it's, it's really fun to go to the comments and read what you guys have to say about the, the, the videos and to feature you on there and stuff. It just it means a lot, okay? Today's group of the day goes to this person. I don't know how to read Japanese, but hey. I mean, I can use Google Translate, but it's probably gonna be almost certainly wrong. You were already dead. <laughs> That's good. You, you memed me. You memed me right now. Omae wa mou shindaru. Well, your scrub of the day, you were already dead, okay? Everybody forgot about a Bindi Link machine. They totally did, huh? Oh wait, I just totally actually read the wrong comment. Well, we had two scrubs of the day, wow! <laughs> I meant to read the one under it, but <laughs> everyone did forget about Bindi, okay? It's, it's nothing personal, okay? I'm glad I did translate your name, though. That was a mistake on my part, though. Yeah, so when they said Bindi Link machine, uh, basically I did a video where we played the, the mobile Bindi game that's actually out. You guys can feel free to check that out. But, uh, Scrub of the Day number two goes to Arek Manash. Play more Brand New Day when it comes out. Yeah, I totally will. Right now, we just did the whole demo, so we're, I guess we're just waiting for the full release. I don't know when it's gonna come out, but when it does, we'll be sure to play more. There's also another really awesome Monica mod that I would like to play. It looked really interesting. Really, like, a lot of work. It looked like a lot of work was put into it, so yeah. Uh, we'll definitely check it out, guys. Anyway, guys, if you wanna be scrubbed of the day, be sure to drop a like. We gotta get the f- I don't know. 5k likes. You can do things like leave likes on the video guys, leave comments, follow me on Twitter, any support means the world to me, and you could be scrub of the day in next video. I do about two videos every single day, so that's a lot of chances, okay? Also, shout out to Gonsi, my editor's probably gonna have a lot of, uh, hard time editing this since, uh, I screwed up. I'm sorry, Gonsi. Uh, feel free to check him out, okay? If you like- if you like my videos, you probably like them because of the editing, which is edited by Gonsi. A really amazing guy. Check him out. Links always in every description, okay? 
Just saying. I love you guys, my beautiful salad squad. I'm BG the Meister, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye, guys.